Hey folks, it's Dave here, and today I'm playing a little bit of everyday player hockey. I'm still kind of learning it here, but I want to give you an idea what I'm doing as far as my setup goes. So I got my two teams here. I got the Rangers and the Bruins, the 69-70 season we're playing. What I've been doing is I've been bringing out dice to correspond with the team so I know who has the puck, and I actually know what line is out, so I can flip line one or line two out there. Uh, you will need some dice for this game and two charts here. You got your goalie chart and then you got your scramble penalty whistle chart over here. So I think that's everything you need aside from the fast action cards and your timer. So uh, let's pick this up here. We'll start off the second period and just show you a little bit of gameplay of how I've been playing it. So <clears throat> we roll first for the penalty. So it's spot 15. So it's first line out there so we got Rattel and Esposito going head to head now I got my instructions here because there are a few wrinkles in this game that I haven't quite figured out but I just want to give you an idea on some gameplay and I've actually get, been getting pretty good at, at moving this game along so to speak until I hit one of the, the special numbers here so here we go so it's face off it is six so it's the uh the high, <coughs> excuse me the higher rated left wing so it's either ballon or Busick. they're both 14 so it goes to the home team so Busick with the puck uh here inside the Bruins zone so here it is johnny Busick, the left wing at 19 he passes to the right wing over to mckenzie and mckenzie skates it up to 14 as he approaches the ranger blue line so we're going to tick off uh, some time here for the cards. I gotta figure out a good way to do the time so I don't gotta keep stopping to check it off, but I'll figure it out. All right, it's McKenzie. He's gonna skate it into 12. McKenzie now inside the range of blue line. And he's gonna continue skating into nine. So now if he takes a shot here, it's, it's 14 minus 16, so it'd be minus two. So you know something, let's take a shot. So McKenzie from the yellow zone. Now Jacquemin is in net, and he's an A-rated goalie, which is the best, so it's gonna be tough. But from the yellow zone, Johnny McKenzie with a minus two off the roll. So it's a four, and it's gonna be 11. So from the yellow zone, four and 11, blocked in front by the left defenseman, that is Brad Park and it's taken over here in the corner by the rangers so the rangers have it over here now as that shot was blocked in front by park it bounces over yeah park has it okay all right so it's um park with the puck in the corner for the rangers so let's flip a card there we go it's park at one he's going to skate it all the way around the boards to the left defenseman as that is still park he's still skating with it at nine so at nine Left defenseman skates it up to 14. And now we have a whistle, and we're going to roll the dice for a whistle, and it's a puck out of play. So we have a face-off here at 14. So I'm going to roll over the face-off at 14, and it's picked up by the right wing on the higher rated... to so right wing on higher rated offense at 11. So the right wing, 14 and 14, so it's a tie. So it goes to Johnny McKenzie. So it's McKenzie for Boston. He got the puck inside the Ranger line. McKenzie off to the left wing, which is Busick. Busick now at eight. Busick with the puck. Busick skates off to the side to four. Busick's going to shoot it over here. So Busick is 14 minus 16. So he's got a minus two shot from the blue zone. And it's a five and a 13 from the blue zone. And as blocked in front again by Park, and it scoots off to the side. So the Rangers have the puck now. As we check off another card here, the Rangers with it now. It's the defenseman, plays it around the boards. This is Park on the side. Park for New York from six. Skates it up. Actually, nice pass here to the center. Jean Rattel now trying to get out of his own zone. Rattel skates it up to center. There's going to be a battle, a high offensive center, and Esposito with a 16 steals the puck. So Phil Esposito steals the puck for Boston. Here come the Bruins the other way. He skates it to center, skates it over to 11. Taken away by the defenseman, though, of the Rangers. Terrific play. Brad Park having a strong first shift here of the game. So now it's a lead pass to the center as they try to bring it out. Rattel with the puck now. And 11, Rattel skates it up to center ice. 
John Rattel, we got to check off a couple of cards here. At center, off on the left wing, who brings it into the Bruins zone? Dave Ballin with it. Ballin on the side. Taken away, though, as the puck hopped off his stick. And it's picked up by the Bruins over here across the ice on 18. This is Johnny Busick now getting ready to make a line change here. Busick at 18. He drops it off to the left defenseman. And that is Orr. Never a bad thing with Orr, the puck. Orr at 13. He's going to send it off to his defensive partner, Dallas Smith at 11. Dallas Smith. Great pass into Esposito at 5. Holy cow. Esposito's going to take that shot. So he's in the blue zone right in front. So Esposito, 16 and 16. So he's got a, it's all square. No, nothing. So a 6 and a 15. So the blue zone, 6 and a 15. Oh, it's blocked in front again. They just That was a 6 is a good roll, but you need better than a 15. So that was blocked this time by Rod Sealing. And it bounces in the corner to Park. So now it's the Rangers with the puck. So we're going to make a change here. So we're going to go line two for each team. That's kind of how I do it. So now it's the Rangers with the puck in the corner. Okay. Pass it all the way across here to the right wing. This is Rod Gilbert. Rod Gilbert, who kind of, this game was kind of modeled after. It was Rod Gilbert, violent world of hockey, or whatever it was. Gilbert with the puck. He carries up over center ice. Let me check off a couple more of these. It's Gilbert. He drops it off to the right defenseman who crosses the blue line. Arnie Brown. I'm not familiar with Arnie Brown, but Arnie Brown has the puck. Centering pass to the right winger here as he goes back to Gilbert. Gilbert from 22 is going to take a shot. So 13 and 13 is even. So from the yellow zone on Cheevers, which is goalie B, it's a 5 and a 13 from the yellow zone. And no, 13 is never good. So that's blocked in front by the left defenseman. And that left defenseman is Ari. And it's picked up by Rick Smith in the corner at 29. So Rick Smith has it for Boston in the corner. Smith at 29. Deflected out of play. And we got a face off here at 23. So that's kind of how the game plays a little bit. Um, I haven't run into anything too crazy. There are some wrinkles in here, like as you can see, the you know we got some some symbols here that you might have to play uh, that come into play. It's all in the instructions, but this is kind of how I've been playing here. So let's roll for the face off of a 23, and I'll play another couple of minutes. So that is a deuce. Uh, so off of 23, it's the right defenseman at 28. So it goes behind the net. So it's behind the net right now. Rick Smith for Boston. He looks to make a play. They're, they're waiting for a line change. So we'll bring out... Uh, well, line two just get out there. We're going to stay with line two. Okay, so behind the net, 28. Right D in the corner at 29. So he sends it off to... Rick Smith now. That was Ari to Rick Smith. Actually, Rick Smith still has it. Okay, a little confusing. Now the lefty brings up the 21. Don Ari trying to make a play for Boston. Get it out of the zone. Pass up to the center at 19. This is Freddie Stanfield. Stanfield. Back to the right wing. Who gets it up over center. Here comes Kenny Hodge. Kenny Hodge. Over to the left defenseman who brings it into the zone. Nice cross ice pass to Ari. Ari has it in the yellow zone. Ari, his pass is picked off by the defenseman, and it goes behind the net, and the range is controlled. So now we could probably bring out line three for each team. So we get line three out there now, and here are the Rangers starting things out behind their own net. Pass up on the wing, line three. That is Bob Nevin. Nevin for the Rangers. He's going to skate it up to 16. Now there's a greater than symbol here, but that doesn't come into play. That has to do with uh, player records, actually. So that's not going to come into play. So i got to check off a couple more things here on my score sheet. So the Rangers with it at 16. Drops it for the right defense. Who brings it over the line. I'm noticing a lot of defensive play in this game, too. It's not just the forwards. A lot of passing to the defense. So the defenseman has it. This is Tim Horton. Yeah, Tim Horton has it at 18. Pass into the right wing at 21. So that right wing is Bob Nevin. Bob Nevin's going to take a shot from there because he's got a 13. It's only a 12 defense on line three. So you will add one to the roll. So 21 shot shot from zone 
3. That's a 4 and 45, so it would be 4 and 46. And that is a kick save by Cheevers. And it goes to the left defense at 24. So Cheevers making a save. And this is where I'd be making some, probably some notes on shots on goal here. But I'm just kind of running through this right now. So let's check off a couple of more here. So it is the left defenseman now. And that was um, Billy Spear at 24. And we got a whistle. So let's see what the whistle is. And it's a puck out of play. So we're going to have a face off. So at 21. So that's kind of how we play the game here. Sorry, I bonked my mics. That is uh, everyday player hockey as I played a little bit here. Not too bad. If you use the cards here, it's not too bad. There are charts that you roll the dice and look at the charts and that takes a lot more time actually. But the, the fast action cards actually work pretty good. As you can see, I try to keep the game moving and this is the only, the only the second time I played it and the game seemed to flow pretty well. A couple of shots on net, no goals. Really difficult to score. As you see the charts here, you've you got to get a six uh, on the, the red dice to, to even have a chance at scoring. And then you still got to roll pretty high, especially on an A goalie. You know, you really got to, to, to roll a, you know, a, a six and six and six almost to score, if crying out loud. But anyway, so that's a little bit about everyday player hockey. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little demo, and we'll talk to you later. Oh, have a good July 4th. I'm not sure if I'll be back on before the 4th, but have a good 4th if I don't talk to everybody. Bye bye.